Hello and welcome to the buying guide for the all new E-Flight Twin Otter 1.2 meter airplane. A uh, really cool scale replica and representation of the full size Twin Otter, just a little bit smaller. So we made this a 1.2 meter for the obvious reason of we want this to be able to fit in people's trunks, back seats, front seats, small cars, big cars, whatever. So even with this fully assembled, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And to top it off, there's one thumb screw that takes that whole one piece wing off. So if you're really, really tight on space, this is a great option for parks, uh, obviously flying fields, soccer fields. It's a really good size plane. Now another cool thing, as you'll see, I have both regular landing here and floats here. That's both included in the box. So this is also a great lake flyer as well because everything you need is included in the box. Now, obviously you can see this is a twin motored plane and this is a really good first twin motor plane. This isn't a trainer. This isn't really a, like a, a first plane or second plane, but this is a plane that you can enjoy obviously with it being high wing. It's not gonna have any goofy flying characteristics. It's still gonna have a good flying envelope. It can still do aerobatic stuff but you get the nice balance power from a twin style plane. They're counter rotating props, which means that you don't get that weird torque twist on takeoff. It just has really good flying characteristics because of that. Now this also has flaps. It's got obviously ailerons, rudder, elevator. This has flaps and the bind and fly basic version comes with a AS3X receiver that has safe select. So whether you get this as a PNP model where you have to install your own receiver or the bind and fly basic model. You really only need five channels to fly this plane, six if you plan on using safe select. So that's also a really good feature for you guys that might have a DXE or maybe just a DX6 or 6E. Very cool options. Now going back to the landing gear. This has tricycle style landing gear, which makes it even more friendly for you guys that maybe don't have a ton of experience. You don't have to worry about ground loops, things of that nature and it has a steerable nose wheel. So that nose wheel is basically in direct correlation with the rudder, makes taxiing and making little corrections while you're taking off or landing that much easier. But at the same time, with floats, you get a steerable rudder. So as you can see, there's an extra kind of push rod that runs from the front where the nose wheel would go all the way back to the rudder. Very cool design, uh, nice and simple, and gives you the ability to taxi in really nice tight circles and kind of, kind of fight against any currents you may encounter should you decide to take this on the lake. Now this is made of EPO foam, so it's the nice durable foam that you find on pretty much all of our planes at this point from Horizon Hobby. And you will need between a 1800 and 3200 milliamp pack. Now our video has a little bit different specs, but we've actually flown this 1800 all the way up to 32 and it flies great but it must be a 3S pack. This is not a 4S plane. We wanna make sure you guys know that. This must be a 3S pack with a EC3 or IC3 connector. Another thing to mention is the fact that this actually has pretty sizable wheels and tires. So you will be able to take off and land in grass. Uh, we don't really call this a full like S2L style bush plane. So don't expect to uh, go like off-roading with this thing like maybe you would with the timber but that does give you the option and kind of open up the flight envelope even more for you guys. So as I mentioned, this comes as a plug and play or bind and fly basic with safe select and AS3X. So with AS3X, obviously you get the stability that helps you fight off the wind and really makes the plane that much better to fly than a plane without it. Or you can also use safe select and have pitch bank angle limits. Really good tools to use. Whether you use safe or not, it's a nice thing to have in the background should you fly through the sun, have a bug bite you, things of that nature. Uh, but if you get the plug and play, you will need to provide your own receiver, transmitter, battery, 1800 to 3200 3S, and a way to charge it. If you go with the bind and fly basic, you'll just have to bind up any DSMX transmitter. We recommend six channels. You could get away with five if you're not gonna use safe. Um, and then of course you'll still need that 1800 to 3200 3S LiPo and a way to charge it. So that has been the E-Flight Twin Otter 1.2 meter plane. We will let you guys go. Make sure you subscribe. That way you can see product videos and buying guides before anyone else. Uh, if we forgot anything or if you have any more questions, let us know in the comments below. But we'll see you guys in the next buying guide. Thanks again and have a good one.